Hi friends and welcome to Sunday School. It is good to have you back again and we are going to do one of my favorite Sunday School lessons today. But first, let's get up and stretch to a Miss Jana song. Are you ready? I do love me a Miss Janice song. All right, so before I tell you what story we're gonna do today, I have a surprise. It's gotten away from me. Okay, I have a surprise. We, I'm, I told you last week about the Holy Week packets were putting together and I got I got them started. I got one started and I'm so excited. As a matter of fact, I'm so excited. I had to I had to start a packet myself. But we're gonna give them out next Sunday. And so keep your ears open and listen for the times for that. And um, and I believe they'll be giving out the, on Palm Sunday as well. And maybe even sometime during the week. Just listen and ask your parents to listen. And you can find out when they're giving them out. But let me give you a sneak preview. There is a banner. Whoop, that's not the one I wanted to take. There's a banner that you make for Palm Sunday. It's a felt banner. It even has a, a little wooden thing so you can hang it on it. And there is, let's see, uh, Last Supper sign that you can make and see the disciples. So there's some stickers in there and you can make a Last Supper thing that looks like that. And Here's one of my favorites. It's a picture of a church, but it doesn't look right, does it? That's because you have to get one of those scratch things, which will be taped on the back. It's not yet, but it'll be taped on the back and you can scratch it and make this church look as beautiful as you want it to look by scratching off the blue part. 
And, okay, I had to open this one. Sorry. Um, but I had to get started early. You can make flowers, and I just love stickers. These are flowers, and it has, it'll have stickers in there with letters on it, and stickers in there with shapes on it, and you can make a flower mosaic. I'm hoping that'll show up so you can see it. And I made one with my name on it. I am so excited about these packets, and I think that you will enjoy them too, and we will have a wonderful Holy Week and a good, a good um, walk up to Easter Sunday. That'll be so much fun. All right, for Sunday School today, we are still talking about parables. And remember, parables are stories that Jesus told. And in those stories, there's a secret message that you have to figure out. You know what? That reminds me of a song. Tell me the stories of Jesus. I love to hear things I would ask him to tell me if he were here. <clears throat> Scenes by the wayside, tales of the sea, stories of Jesus, tell them to me. And I got prepared for this Sunday School story with my baby granddaughter this week. I'll show you what we've been playing with. All right. Look at what, uh, this is one of my favorite stories right here. Can you tell what we have? A bunch of sheep and a shepherd. Now, if we were in Sunday school in person, I'd probably read you this book. And I, you could take it to the your Sunday school classes and, and have some of your Sunday school teachers read it to you. It's really great. And what I would have done, instead of having all these sheep all in this herd, I like, to, I like to hide them. And I would have had this shepherd standing here all alone with no sheep. And I would have had you guys come in and sit in your circle. And you would go around and find those sheep for Mr. Shepherd. Yep, that's what you would do. So as you can see by the toys that I have out on the floor, um, the story today is about, it's a parable. Remember we were talking about parables and parables are the stories that Jesus te tells and this parable is called the lost sheep. Now the shepherd in, in our story, he is gathering up his sheep for the evening and he's counting them and he's counting all of them as they come. And he gets to 96, 97, 98, 99. He's missing one. He needs a hundred sheep. He probably counts them again but he's still missing one. What do you think he's going to do? I mean, it's just one sheep. He has 99. Hmm, what do you think he is going to do? Will you watch that video? The link will be here or down here, and you put it, have either uh, a a uh, family member put it in the browser or you might can do it yourself and watch the video and I'll tell you a little secret it's the same video as last week so it's kind of a long one and you'll have to skip the ads but um, last week we learned about the prodigal son or the the son that ran away with all his money from home and um, at the beginning of that video <coughs> excuse me is the is the story about the the lost sheep so you can watch it again <coughs> <coughs> 
All right, and also we have attached some some different activity sheets. Um, there's a coloring sheet and a crossword puzzle and a word search and a maze. But I thought this one was pretty fun. It's a, a circle you can cut out. You can download it and print it and you can cut it out. And then you fold it in half like this. It doesn't take much to entertain me. And you can put it on the floor or the table. I'm going to lay it up here on my guitar so you can see. And it is a rocking sheet. Do I have it high enough so you can see it? Yeah. Wouldn't it be fun to have a flock of those? Yeah. All right. Enjoy the video. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy your day today. And don't forget, keep your ears open and your eyes peeled for information about those Holy Week packets and how to pick them up and where to pick them up. Um, I think you'll really enjoy them. All right, let's get ready to sing our prayer. May there always be sunshine. May there always be blue skies. May there always be children. May there always be you. May there always be stories. May there always be music. May there always be churches that we can go to. Now it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye, so give a smile and wink your eye. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, friends. We'll see you soon. And don't forget to watch for the packets and when they're going to be passed out. And I'll get to work back to work on them right now.